but there is something that I've discovered at least, which I feel is the fundamental root of mostly all of, I shouldn't even say most, it is the root I think of all of our suffering, which is we come into this planet. We didn't come here by our choice. We know that this is a finite game. We're going to die one day. And we're left here to have these questions of why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing here? What should I do? So those loops, the problem is nobody fundamentally knows objectively what you're supposed to be doing here and why you're here. Not one ape on this planet knows. No, but no, no, nothing that exists on this planet knows that. And that is the game. And essentially, that's the game. So you have to paint yourself a story. I have a mother. I have a father. I have X and Y. And that's the story, the narrative that you build on. And that's what you keep doing to compel yourself until the day comes when you die. I love it. And that is that is the fundamental part of our suffering is that whenever we're kind of in anxiety mode or we're stressing out about something, the real problem, like even if you're having anxiety at work, the real problem is if you if you go back to those fundamental questions, it's what am I supposed to be doing here? Why am I doing this? Should I be doing this? Like those are, because there's no answers to those. There's no objective answers to any of those. Um, that's the reason we're suffering. And then the only thing that counteracts that is love. And, and what I mean by that is not to just sound like a hippie. What I mean by that is love when you l- love what happening, what's happening in front of you in terms of what you are doing and you have a compelling story about why you're doing it, then naturally you'll be in a flow state. You'll be more loving towards that activity that you're doing. You'll be a loving mother because you've accepted your responsibility. You'll be a love, you know, a loving employee because you accept that this company is only surviving if you keep working hard too. Like there is a give and take. There is a reciprocal so relationship. You're saying add meaning to your suffering. At, exactly. To offset that suffering, we have to add meaning. And then the loop is, or the game, the trick I think is you have to constantly readjust and recalibrate these things that you find meaningful because you can't be so hard fast on this is the only thing I'm going to do. This is what I was noticing when I was becoming tunnel vision about a goal. Then you become so rigid and then you start to see the, the, the cracks in your logic there your cl- and your beliefs. And then you're not, you know, if you don't, if you don't fucking change that, then all of a sudden it all falls apart and that's what we see happening. And that's, you know, where you, you got to be fluid. Life has yes. changed. Yes. And I think fundamentally that is what at least I feel like I want to do with my life at the rest of my life that I'm here. I want to help as many people find that truth that I've ex- discovered, which is that there is really nothing that you should be doing here, but you can do anything that you do want to do. And it's simply just a story that you have to tell yourself every fucking day.